They fled this far, almost to safety in Turkey, but still they dig. To these boys, dragged fast into manhood, it's not really a game, it's an air raid shelter. We make it so if the jets come and bomb us, he says, we put children here to hide them. But of course we'll make it much bigger for 20 to 30 people. The holes are so they could see outside when the bombs come, although they've already seen so much. We were sitting suddenly and the rocket comes, making this noise, he says, a big explosion, an artillery shell. Here in Bab al Salama, 8,000 of them fled everything they had, hoping for something, but finding the new free Syria could give them little. A hundred yards from Turkey, they're not allowed into its bustling camps. Of course, 80 percent of those here, he says, came hoping to cross into Turkey, but the Turkish government stopped hosting over six weeks ago. People are furious, and we can't provide a lot of their daily needs. What was temporary in summer is now looking permanent in the frost. The distant thud of shelling, a reason to endure even this. Even though these people are just about a hundred yards from the Turkish border, they've still had to bring what little plastic tent shelter they have under cover because of the intense cold approaching. You can still hear sometimes the shells in the distance reverberate inside this open concrete hangar, but the real enemy in the months ahead is going to be that bitter winter cold. For Abdul Qadir Al Hassan's daughter Siham, the cold came too fast. She wasn't sick, he says. She didn't have any problems at all. We were up late that night and playing with her. We woke the next morning and her mother checked on her. She was curled into a ball from the cold. We buried her in the village. Her sister is afraid now of the cold. Now he burns plastic to keep warm. Wood is in short supply and expensive. In fact, they've stripped nature almost bare here. Even these plants cut down for food. Trash plastic gathered hungrily. It's acrid, poisonous smoke cluttering a dense, wretched world. After 21 months of this war, this is the best the world has done for them. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN, Bab al-Salama, Syria.